And welcome back to a brand new episode of Kiltaria, where the story will be ours, but imagination will be yours. And as always, I am accompanied by our favorite Taini. What's up? Oh, shh. Kashti, my friend is coming in a while. Okay. And if he sees these chocolates, I'll have to share it with him. That is so wrong, Taini. Sharing things makes the bond of friendship grow stronger. But if I share, I won't have enough for myself. Okay. Wait until you hear the story. Then make up your mind. Cool? Yay! Story! Okay then. Once upon a time in the deep green jungles of Seymour lived Amu the fox and Bagu the crane. They were not just neighbors, but also best friends. Amu and Bagu did everything together. They ran down the hill together, played with paper boats in the nearby stream together, spent time together in an open field talking for hours, looking up at the dark blue sky sparkling with stars and the big round moon. One afternoon, as Bagu looked out of the window, he saw Amu walking past his house. A delighted Bagu greeted Amu. Hey Amu, I have been waiting for you since morning. Where have you been? Amu smiled and waved at Bagu and said, Oh, hello Bagu. I was a little busy. Suddenly, Bagu noticed the shopping basket full of red juicy tomatoes in Amu's hand and exclaimed, What lovely tomatoes you've got there. They look ripe, red and juicy. I'm sure they would taste delicious. Amu chuckled and said, Well, of course they are. You see, I woke up really early and went all the way to the market before everyone else and got the best tomatoes in the entire jungle. I plan on making delicious soup for dinner. Soup! His small beady eyes brightened. Amu noticed this and kindly invited her friend with a smile. Why don't you join me for dinner? A delighted Bagu thanked Amu for the kind invitation. Back in her house, Amu started preparing for the dinner. She washed the tomatoes, chopped them, put them in a big red pot with spices in it, lit up the fire and left the soup to cook. As the soup was cooking, Amu put on some candles in the dining room to welcome her dear friend. As the sun began to set in the bright orange sky and all the animals started returning home, Amu stirred the soup with a big wooden spoon. She added salt and pepper and stirred some more. She then tasted the soup. The soup tasted sweet and tangy. Her mouth started to water. The more she tasted it, the more she liked the soup. And suddenly out of nowhere, greed started taking over her. She thought to herself, it was I who went to the market. It was I who cleaned and chopped and cooked the soup. What did Bagu do? Why should I have to share my soup with him? The more Amu thought, the more greener she became with greed. When suddenly she said, I have a plan so that I can eat all the soup myself. Unaware of Amu's plan, Bagu reached his best friend's house sharp at 7 p.m. Amu promptly opened the door and invited the crane in. At the dining table, Amu served the soup which she had poured in a big shallow plate. She placed the plate proudly in front of her friend and declared, Tonight we share and eat from the same plate, my friend. After all, we are best friends. The two friends started eating. Amu quickly stuck her tongue out and started slurping down the piping hot soup. But Bagu had a long yellow beak and he was unable to pick anything up with his beak. He tried and tried but couldn't manage to eat anything while his friend Amu drank it all up as fast as she could. At the end of the night, poor Bagu returned home sad and hungry. Next morning, as Amu was stepping out of her house, she was greeted by Bagu. He was carrying some big fish in his hand. I got these fresh from the pond for you. I want you to come and eat dinner at my house today, said Bagu. One look at the fish and Amu got excited and accepted the invitation. That evening, Amu got dressed up and walked up to Bagu's house. Bagu welcomed her in and took her to the dinner table. There kept on the table was a pitcher with two long necks. I have kept the fish in this vessel so that it remains warm. Please eat, my friend. As Bagu had his long yellow beak, 
He could easily put his beak inside the pitcher and eat the fish. But alas, Amu had a snout so her mouth just could not get inside the pitcher. She tried and tried to reach the food, but she just could not reach the fish. Now she realized how cruel she was to her friend because of her greed. Her friend slept hungry yesterday. She began to cry. Bagu finished eating and noticed his friend's tears. Oh, what happened, Amu? Why are you crying? I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I became greedy and played a cruel joke on you yesterday. I have learned my lesson. I will never ever be greedy again. Bagu now smiled kindly at his friend and said, "That's all I wanted you to realize. Now come with me." He took Amu to the kitchen and there it was. Some more fish kept separately in a plate. Amu smiled and the two friends hugged. And Amu got the fish to eat. So Tani, what did you learn from today's story? That if I share my chocolate with my friend, he will be very happy. Yes. That's right kids. Greed should never overshadow friendship. You gain more joy by sharing your happiness with friends. Remember, eventually it's not the things but the people in our lives who matter the most and make us happy. You're absolutely correct, Kashdi. I'm always correct, Tani. So for now, we are going to enjoy these chocolates together. And we'll be back soon on your favorite show Kilkaria with a brand new story. Yeah, but don't forget to like and subscribe. That's right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. Okay, enough. Mm. No, 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 no.